All right, in this problem, we have a three centimeter tall object, which has been placed 7.5 centimeters in front of a convex lens, which has a focal length of 15 centimeters. And first, what we're gonna do is go through and draw a ray tracing diagram for this object in front of this lens to determine where the image will appear. And then we're gonna go through and use the thin lens equation to determine the image distance, as well as the magnification and image height. So starting with our ray tracing diagram, we're first going to draw the principal ray starting from the top of this object headed towards the lens. So the principal ray travels parallel to the principal axis towards the lens. Now when it strikes the lens, it is going to refract and head through this focal point. The next ray we're going to draw is the central ray, which starts at the top of this object and passes through the center of the lens. And when the central ray passes through the center of the lens, it doesn't refract at all. It just keeps going in the same direction. And last, we're going to deal with the focal ray. Now, because a lens has two focal points, we need to be careful about which focal point we try to use in drawing our focal ray. Now, the simplest way to determine which focal point we need to use for our focal ray is to remember that we can only use each focal point once. And you'll see when we drew our principal ray, we effectively used this focal point over here for the refracted ray. So that leaves this focal point unused, and this is the focal point which we're gonna use in drawing our focal ray. Now the issue is, if we were to draw a ray from the top of this object through the focal point, it's never going to strike the mirror. So instead what we're gonna do is we're going to draw a ray toward the mirror as though it had passed through the focal point, like this. And when that ray strikes the lens, it's going to refract and bend so that it travels away from the lens parallel to the principal axis. Now you'll see these three rays don't appear to converge anywhere over here on this side of the lens, but an image is in fact formed. And to find out where this image is formed, what we need to do is back up to this side of the lens. So what we're gonna do is backtrack along each of these three rays to see where they appear to converge over here. And you'll see these three rays appear to converge at this point right here. And this is where the top of our image will form. So now that we've drawn a complete ray tracing diagram showing both the object and the image, let's go through and confirm this result using the thin lens equation. Now in this problem, the focal length is 15 centimeters and we're dealing with a convex lens, which means that focal length is positive. So plugging in 15 for our focal length and an object distance of 7.5 centimeters we can solve for di. And we find the image distance is negative 15 centimeters. Now let's talk about what this negative 15 centimeters means. When dealing with something like a mirror, a negative image distance implied that the image was on the opposite side of the mirror as the object. But when dealing with the lens, it's the exact opposite case. When dealing with a lens, you expect the light to pass through the lens and an image to form over here. So when we have a negative image distance, that's really saying the image is hidden somewhere back here behind the lens. And because this image can't be projected onto a point or onto a surface, we say that image is virtual. And mathematically, we say this is a virtual image because the image distance is negative. Next, let's solve for the magnification. So our magnification is the image distance, which could be negative, negative 15, over the object distance, that is 7.5. And the magnification works out to be positive two. Now, because this is positive, this is telling us the image is upright. And last, let's go through and solve for the height of this image, which is formed behind the lens. Knowing the magnification is two, and the object height is three centimeters, we find an image height of six centimeters. 
And on that note, that's all for now.